Hi everybody! Briquette here showing how to unlock all 12 characters in Festival Square in LEGO City Undercover. There are 12 character tokens in Festival Square, and like a lot of other districts, there's a lot of color swapping going on. <laughs> so I highly recommend getting the Super Color Gun Red Brick before getting some of these character tokens. There's a link in the description to a video showing how to get it. We get the Dr. Smith character token after we build the disguise booth in Festival Square. The timestamps of all the characters and the color swappers are in the description of this video if you want to skip right to them. Thanks to... Ricky Dalpy, YouTube channel all right, and Fahad for requesting this. I need a vacation. Dr. Smith is in the service category and costs 5,000 studs. The tribal chief character token is in the bookstore almost right behind us. The token is at the far end of the bookstore, which is why it looks so far away on the map. There's a large super brick up there. The tribal chief is a special one in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. I'm right in front of the bookstore. To get the Dr. Jones character token, we can go around the corner and do a whole lot of parkour. <laughs> or we can get it with the jetpack, which I'll show first. The token is across the street from the train station. I'm right across the street from the train station. Yeah, that didn't work. But if you get up on this thing and jetpack up and out and up and over the awning, you can do it. I'm so glad I moved to Lego City. Now I'll show you the way the game wants us to do it and the way to do it What's without the jetpack. There's the bookstore. This is how we get Dr. Jones without the jetpack. Drop down with the right button, but aim the left stick towards the wall so you don't fall. You might be able to get that super brick with the jetpack but you can also climb up the pipe on the left. I tried jumping up here, but it didn't work. It's just a small one anyway. <laughs> There's another small one. And another one. <laughs> Dr. Jones is in the service category and costs 5,000 studs. The red color swapper is right here. <laughs> You'll need it for three basketball hoops for the gorilla suit guy if you don't have the super color gun red brick. 
Sorry, it's an emergency. That is gonna leave a dent. The blue and yellow color swappers are straight ahead in that building. And we get a large super brick. Sorry, it's an emergency. The first three basketball hoops for the gorilla suit guy are right next to the train station. There are three sets of these basketball hoops in Festival Square. Each set has one on the right side that needs to be colored red with a robber. We need to get three balls in each basket and all three sets of them. I'll just do a few of them. You get three balls to start. Each time you miss, you lose one ball. When you get down to zero, you start over with that basket. Once we get three balls in, it'll say we have one out of nine. I circled it because it's so hard to see. The first one is here. And the second set of hoops is right around here. Look where you're going! Didn't bring them. Whoa, just missed them. So, rinse and repeat. Do the same thing here with all three baskets. Now it should say six out of nine. The third set of basketball hoops is right about there. Nice three-point turn, huh? <laughs> I spared his life. <laughs> nice driving. For coloring all three backboards red, we get a large super brick. I'll get that later. I still need to finish these three though. The Gorilla Suit Guy character token is under this bridge. <laughs> I can't believe I only get a lousy half hour for lunch. She should get another job. The token under the bridge is right around here. Wait, if this is the right street, where is the building? Hello there. Wait, if this is the right street, where is the building? <laughs> And we get a small super brick. You can also jetpack up there. The gorilla suit guy is a special one in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. Natalia Kowalski is at the top of the hospital. We'll need at least the firefighter disguise. a little quicker way to get up here for the Natalia Kowalski character token. You do it a much longer way during the story. You have to put fires out and turn off the fans with the color gun. 
If you don't have the jetpack yet, you can get up there by going to the end. Whoops, I overshot it. <laughs> you probably got her during the story anyway. Natalia Kowalski is a resident and costs 40,000 studs. I think she has the least animation of all the characters, in this window anyway. The surgeon character token is in the back of the hospital by the parking lot. I'm on top of the hospital right now, so I'll just jump down. Surgeon is a special two in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. We get the Deep Sea Diver character token after we build the Deep Sea Spin Super Build. Sorry, police business. Nice parking job. It cracks me up how the cars turn all red when they smash into things. The deep sea spin costs 50,000 bricks. The Deep Sea Diver is a special one in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. The Sumo Wrestler is very close to the ride we just built. We just need to bounce high five times by holding the jump button. The Sumo Wrestler is a special one in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. The Vinnie Clown character token is in the tower across the street. We'll need the farmer for that. There's a gold color swapper around this corner for Vinnie Clown. The token is in this tower, but we have to get to the next tower over and back again. Oh goody, a chicken glide. <laughs> A large super brick. Yeah. 
Here's where we need a gold color gun. I guess I'm too close. Vinny Clown is a criminal and costs a hundred thousand studs. Here are the blue and yellow color swappers for the Circus Clown balloons. I show these and the red color swapper at the beginning of this video. The red color swapper is right here. One of the four balloons we need to color is right next to this tower. Here's one of four balloons we need to color. This one needs to be blue. What sound we should... Another one is right about here. <laughs> There's the second balloon. It needs to be yellow. The third one is right about there. Here's the third balloon. It needs to be red. And the last one needs to be yellow. The Circus Clown character token is at the top of the stairs in front of the deep sea spin ride. That's the large super brick we get for coloring all three basketball backboards red. This is where the token is. There's the deep sea spin ride that I built earlier. The circus clown is a special one in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. Here's where we are now. We just have to go a little south to get to the first of three strongman games for the weightlifter character token. It's also known as a hammer game, high striker, or strength tester. Just hit the right button once and let it do its animation. So, that's the first one. The second one I got is right about here, right across the street. The third strongman game is right around here. I hate going to the dentist. Back to this circle again. That's the third one for the weightlifter, which I did last, so we'd be right by the token. The weightlifter is a special one in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. We can 
get a large super brick over here. I recommend waiting until after you finish the story when you get bricks times two before getting a bunch of super bricks because they don't respawn and you probably want to get double value for your super bricks. Now I'll unlock the free run for the robot character token. We'll need at least the firefighter disguise. Sometimes it's easier not to use the jetpack or the farmer on these bouncy things, so I switch to the miner. Here's a small super brick. And here's another one. I was supposed to go under that time. We could jetpack up there or go around the side with a firefighter disguise. Now we can do the free run for the robot character token. Oh, that always makes my stomach drop. clock token we need to get to beat the free run. Oops. <laughs> There's the second clock token. There's the third. Wow, I can barely see that. There's the fourth. And the fifth. The robot is a special one in the civilian category and costs 10,000 studs. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, which I really appreciate. And subscribe to see when I upload new videos. And I'll see you next time.